Okay, so got bad news. Tengo malas noticias para los mexicanos. Big time. Mexico stands with migrants. The new U.S. asylum policy must respect their rights. Yeah. Robert by Roberto Velasco Alvarez. All right, so it says right here, Roberto Velasco Alvarez is the spokes, spokesman of the Mexican Secretariat of Foreign Affairs. A este vato tenemos que agarrar. Y a dármelo también, decirle que, pues, que pedo. Esta madre de los, de los, de los migrantes es, es un problemón para México. Pero voy a empezar a leer, leer el artículo. I'm going to start reading the, the article. All right. So Mexico is adopting a new migratory framework in the line with the solidarity that has always characterized our foreign policy. Our new policies rely on a comprehensive vision to understand migration and all its repercussions from their root causes. We believe trying to halt the flow of migrants without addressing the factors that force people to flee their countries is insufficient. As, Mex as President Andres Manuel Lopez, Lopez Obrador stated in a letter to President uh, Trump, a plan to boost development in Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras that creates employment and, uh, as a consequence, lowers crime rates, represents a better and more effective alternative and mere than merely focusing in... In stemming the outflow of migrants. It's not going to work. They, they, they're corrupt out there, man. Even the migrants say that that money is not even going to them. You know what I mean? That's a dumb idea. That's a waste of money. Those those countries are just sucking our money. They don't, they're not going to help their, their citizens, man. They're not even helping themselves. The ongoing initiative between Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and Mexico is designed to raise, raise investment, enhance government governance, reduce violence, and foster economic growth. Our governments must properly implement several complex policies to meet this ambitious set of goals. The technical expertise and financial support of the United States represent a significant uh, advantage toward the success of those policies and should be commended. Our administration's new migra migratory plan is a far-reaching shift from that of our predecessors. Mexico is the first country to adjust its migratory policy as recommended by the United Nations Global Compact for Migration. Para los mis mexicanos, por eso que estamos, que nos, nos vamos a joder, porque el AMLO firmó, o el Peña Nieto firmó, un pacto de inmigración con las, oh, con las Naciones Unidas. Por eso que la gente está pasando nomás por aquí y se está yendo para Estados Unidos. México le está dando chance que se queden aquí, pero eso también es un pinche problema para los mexicanos, porque apenas estamos saliendo del hoyo. Tantos pinches años de corrupción. Tanto pinche dinero que se han llevado los corruptos para que ahora lleguen los pinches migrantes y los chinguen más. No, on a verga, we, that's just fucking crazy, man. In accordance with this international agreement adopted by more, trust me, you don't have to know what I said in Spanish. It's for the Mexicans. What I, but if, you, if you're curious, I just said that it's dumb. You know, it's, it's fucking dumb that, you know what, years of corruption, years of, 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 of not giving back to Mexican society, and now that we have a president that wants to give back to the Mexicans, these migrants are going to come and fuck it up for us. In accordance with this international agreement adopted by more than 160 countries, Mexico's position will no longer be one of migration, deterrence, and blockage. Mexico's National Immigration Institute has provided visiting registrations for humanitarian reasons to, to migrants that otherwise would have entered the country irregularly. And they're still doing it irregularly. They're still coming in illegally in, into Mexico. And they're getting um, their registration in like right here at the north border. In light of our regional responsibilities and commitment to human rights, migrants will be able to work and, as a consequence, will benefit from access to health care, education, and other social programs. Imagine that. Para mis mexicanos, miren, si trabajan, como consecuencia van a ganar beneficios de salud, educación y otros programas sociales. Algo que tú necesitas, algo que nosotros aquí en México necesitamos. But our new migratory blueprint is at odds in some respect with the announcement by U.S. authorities that some migrants are um, looking for asylum. Uh, looking for asylum who entered through through our shared border could be returned to Mexico to wait for their proceedings. In accordance to our new migratory policy, one that puts human rights at its core, Mexico will temporarily welcome some migrants seeking asylum in the United States. But in the interest of protecting vulnerable immigrants, unaccompanied children, and those in poor health conditions will not be accepted into our territory from the United States. With this, Mexico reaffirms its, its adherence to the paramount principle of non refoulement as stated by international law. No government should return an asylum seeker to territories where his or her life would be threatened on account of race, religion, nationality, or membership of a particular social group. Kind of like, it's a political asylum right there. <coughs> Sorry. 
Therefore, Mexico expects that asylum seekers with a credible fear of such threats will not be sent to our country. The operational complexity of receiving asylum seekers from the United States opens the door to new potential drawbacks. Mexico will keep raising these concerns to the United States to adequately manage the situation while guaranteeing the orderly functioning of our border. There are several technical Technical level questions, the specific ports of entry where this measure would apply, the timeline of the process, among others, that our, go that our two governments need to address the guarantee and adequate implementation of this unilateral policy, which means that America has a different policy. M Mexico is, is, is basically evolutionizing their, their migration policy into a, a bad, bad, really bad plan. Because it's being sponsored and influenced by the United Nations. We need a break free. Necesitamos quebrarnos de ese pinche pacto mundial que tiene la ONU. Si no los retractamos de la ONU, si no los mandamos a la ahorita, vamos a valer madre porque va a venir migrantes de todo el mundo a Guatemala, a El Salvador. México para no más llegar a Estados Unidos y aquí se van a quedar los criminales los que no pueden entrar a Estados Unidos aquí se van a quedar remember me when I said that they're going to stay here so I'm saying that you know what our country is going to be filled with everyone from the world trying to get into the United States and the ones that don't make it to the United States they're going to stay right here criminals everything right here there are several technical okay I read that shit already in the future, Mexico will continue investing in development policies to reduce violence and poverty in our country and Central America so that migration will no longer be a necessity but an option. Yeah, right. This is regard to the potential of cooperation with the European Union, Canada, and Japan to bolster our comprehensive development, development plan is a sign of our willingness to expand alliances for development on a global scale. Mexico will continue to emphasize the protection of human rights in our new migration policy. New migration policy. Our new comprehensive stance entails not only to the to the not only the defense of rights but the expansion of opportunity that is the road mexico will follow in the years to come exactly in the years to come right now as we can see it's chaos give it a little bit more time it's going to be worse ah se va a ser peor mi gente se va a ser peor porque mira como está diciendo aquí esto va va a durar años apenas está apenas está empezando Y ya estamos mirando que es un pinche caos. Con estos güeyes de los centroamericanos que se están... La neta, no fuera, fuera así otra cosa. Si Simón llegan, trabajan, pero son huevones, güey. Ya los hemos mirado aquí en Tijuana. Nomás andan ahí esperando su pinche día de, de, para llegar para pa su, su cita de, de la embajada o de Estados Unidos. ¿Por qué no en ese tiempo andan barriendo calles o ayudando a la gente o trabajando? ¿Ah? Porque son huevones, güey, y les, y les arde el culo que México está aquí junto a Estados Unidos. Siempre hemos tenido filo, y ustedes saben, raza, los mexicanos contra los centroamericanos siempre hemos tenido filo. Por deporte, por nuestras naciones, por todo, la gente, todo, güey. Y hay gente que no lo quiere decir, pero es la realidad. Hay poca gente buena, que sí es amable, que sí es humilde, y nos agarramos en buen, en buen plan. Pero hay muchos detrás de las computadoras, celulares, que se pasan de lanza. Tienen mucho odio contra, contra México, güey. That's why I think we shouldn't... No, no deberíamos estar en esta pinche, este, pacto, este pacto mundial de la ONU. No deberíamos. Tenemos que sacarnos. Necesitamos, necesitamos alertar a todos, los, a todos los mexicanos. Necesitamos alertar a todos que ya es tiempo de hacer una decisión popular. Un voto masivo nacional México. Para que ya estuvo este, esta cosa de la ONU. No va a jalar con nosotros. No está sirviendo. Nos van a hundir. For you guys that are curious that I said in Spanish, I said all the right things. That's all you gotta know.